What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm trying not to say awesome day because I say that every single video. So I want you guys to look above this video right here. You're going to see the title. You're going to see the number. It says 3.5. Why does it say 3.5? That is because this video is kind of obviously in between 3 and 4, but it's also not mandatory. You don't have to follow this video. You can skip to 4. Now, why is this not mandatory? What I'm doing here is I'm creating a new user. As you can see, there are two terminal windows. They're both Jason Semko and myself right now. But I'm going to turn the blue one into Homer Simpson because I like the Simpsons. And what Homer Simpson is going to do is he is going to pull from GitHub and he's going to make changes as well. So we're going to have myself, Jason, and I'm going to be on a project with Homer Simpson. We're both going to be making changes. And the reason we're doing this is so we can see what happens when we have merge conflicts with multiple users on GitHub. Now, like I said, you don't have to follow this, and what I mean is you don't have to set up another account. You can just go to part four and watch what happens when you have multiple users, but if you want to practice and play along at home, you can go ahead and follow this video, see how to create a new user, how to get into that, how to put them on GitHub, and make all the magic happen so you can play on your own. So that being said, unfortunately, I only have a Macintosh. I can only show you how to do this on a Macintosh, but I can guarantee you on Windows you can create users as well. So you just have to create users, figure out, like, go ahead and check out uh, Google, how to create new users. And then after that, in the console part, like the terminal window right here, should be pretty similar. So let's go ahead and get started on the Macintosh. You're going to go down to System Preferences. You're going to go to Accounts right under System right here, like where I'm clicking. And we're going to go to Accounts, and we're going to go ahead and unlock this so we can edit it. And let's go ahead and create a new account with this plus sign right here. Now, you want to make sure they are an administrator. I'm going to call him Homer. Account name is Homer. I suggest giving them a password that is the exact same as a username if you're just using this for practice. So you don't have to actually remember a password. It's just easy. So we're going to go ahead and create that account. And uh, Homer Simpson is apparently a cat. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and close that. Now, how do I get into Homer Simpson? Because obviously this is Jason Semko right now. That's me. Well, I need to use the su command, the su. So if you want to look it up, remember, you can always use the manual. Manual su tells you everything you need to know. And let's go ahead and do su Homer. Password, Homer. And there we go. I am now in Homer. But keep in mind, I'm not in my own personal directory. If I check my path right here, I'm still in users Jason Simcoe. I need to switch over to Homer. So I need to go ahead and change directory to home right there. PWD. And now I'm in users Homer. So let's clear this out. And I'm going to list all my files in here. Now, actually, let's go ahead and list everything. Now you'll notice I don't have an SSH folder. I need to create that. Now, this is a whole nother can of worms here. I don't want to take up a lot of time for this, but in order for me to connect to GitHub or any remote server, any remote server, you need to have an SSH key. It's basically a security key. It has a public and a private. Now, one key is basically when you enter your own password. Like if I enter Homer, that's one password. But GitHub will also check your own computer for a specific password that is generated. It's called your SSH key, and that has to match and be allowed to, to get on the server. And you're going to kind of see how this happens. I'm going to show you this. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we need to generate some keys, basically. So we're going to do SSH key, and if I press tab a couple times, here are my options. Key gen right there. I'm going to press enter. It's generating the public-private RSA key pair. This is my security key. It's generated right now. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter for the file to save it. I'm already in my home directory. That's perfect. Uh, passphrase, just press enter. A passphrase again, press enter, and boom. Now you have your security key. So if I do again, let me clear this out. If I list everything again, you're going to see, boom, right there, SSH directory. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and change in to our SSH directory. I'm going to list everything. And the guy we're interested in is this idrsa.pub. It's basically a public key. Oh, it makes me want a beer, actually, pub. All right. So what does it look like? I'll show you. idrsa.pub. There we go. That is my security key. And so what I need to do is I need to copy this. So 
um, you know, I could use a terminal, but you know, let's just go ahead and highlight this right here. We're going to copy it all the way up to there. Let's go ahead and copy this. So now I have my key right here. But if I try to connect to GitHub, it's not going to work because it needs this key. I need to manually go on GitHub into my account, aka the server that's holding this repo, and I need to put this key in there and tell GitHub that if anyone comes to GitHub with this key, then allow them access. Otherwise, Git's not gonna allow it. And this is this is good because that means no random Joe or average Joe can just try to connect to my repository. They need this key to do it. I need to allow them access. And you did this before when you set up in part zero, but this is kind of more of an explanation of what you were actually doing the whole time. So let's go ahead and go into GitHub right here. This is the basic home page. Now I have my account settings up here at the top and I have SSH public keys. Remember, dot pub. I want a beer. So let's go ahead and add another public key right here and we're going to call this Homer Simpson and paste the key. There we go, Homer. Add key right there. So what I just did is I gave Homer Simpson access to my repository through that key. Now you could do this through the terminal as well, but this is just kind of, this is simple. You know, you, it, it's more visual. You don't have to memorize commands. You just copy and paste stuff. So now I need Homer Simpson to get the repository. So I need to figure out what repository do I want him to share. Let's go back to my, click my name up there. And hello git, I believe that is the one I am doing right here. And right here, this is the repository location, git at github.com, Jason Simco, hello git. So let's go ahead and bring our two terminal windows up right here. Ah, uh, not you though. Okay, there we go. Let's clear this out. And it's going to be very, very simple. Git, you know what, actually before I even do that, before I even add him on there, let's go ahead and change something in here. So I'm on my master branch right here. Let's go ahead and do a vim readme right here. Let's do, what do I want to add in here? Welcome to the project Homer Simpson. Yay. I don't know why I said yay. So we're going to save that, git status. We're going to do a git commit am welcome Homer git push and let's see I need a password for that oh but you know what because I'm sorry I changed my SSH key a separate time so that was that was my bad um, normally see there you go so he doesn't ask me for a password that time so yeah I changed <laughs> over the week my uh, my security key so that's why it prompted me I was kind of confused there uh, I needed to add it. See, you see right there, identity added. So that uh, that's fine. All right, so I just added that. I sent welcome Homer Simpson. So now I want to do git clone on Homer Simpson, paste that address, press enter. It's cloning. It's going to ask me, uh, do I want to add this to my um, to my host? Basically, this this basically is a file that I keep for my records. So I know who I'm connecting to, basically. So just say yes. You permanently add it right there. No problem. And I just got everything. So let's clear. Let's change directory into hello git. Git status. Perfect. Nothing. I've pulled everything. And let's go ahead and clear this out. Let's do a vim. Let's see what readme says. And boom. Welcome to the project Homer Simpson. I now have two users, two separate users, who now share this repository and now we're going to be able to see what happens when merge conflicts happen. We're going to use the two terminal windows, we're going to edit them together, see what happens, see how to avoid common issues that you would find in the workplace or with multiple users. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully there weren't too many questions. If you guys want any more information about SSH keys, uh, go ahead and check the description below and uh, you guys have an awesome day. Take care.